Life of the party. So Life of the Party stars Melissa McCarthy and she is once again teaming up with her husband, Ben Falcone, who is the director of this film. This time around, Melissa McCarthy's character is a middle-aged mom who just sent her daughter off for her final year of college. After a few trials and tribulations in her own life, she decides, I need to finish my own last year of college. Leading her to enroll with her daughter and joining her on her last year of college, which we can all assume is a nice little setup for some comedic moments. And that's all pretty much today without giving any spoilers to you guys. This is a spoiler-free review. I'm just going to tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like, hit you with a rating system just like this one, breaking down the elements of the film and giving you a final ranking. Now, Melissa McCarthy is an actress I do not mind in comedies. I have nothing against her. I understand the tropes, people saying that she does the same stick in most films. And while I sort of agree with that, I do feel she sometimes brings a different sort of range to her character. Brushing this stuff aside, this is also the third time she partners up with her husband, Ben Falcone. They work together on Tammy and The Boss. Now, I hated Tammy, but I actually rather enjoyed The Boss, understanding it wasn't a great film, but I did enjoy The Boss. So I was 50-50 going in on this film, and the trailers didn't impress me so much. It seemed like a very simple premise. I wouldn't be surprised if there's 30 other movies like this. One of the positives I'm definitely going to give to the film is I think it knows what it's going for. This is coming out the weekend for Mother's Day, and it's a comedy about a mother and a daughter relationship. It's obviously a marketing ploy for you to go out with your mother and see this on Mother's Day, and you know what? I totally support you taking your mother to see this film. And the reason I believe that is because I feel this film is simple and cute. The best way to describe this film is comparing it to a joke that you can tell your grandma. It's something that'll make her giggle, laugh, but isn't raunchy or horrendous to her. It's an innocent joke that'll get you a giggle here and there from your grandma and no one's hurt in the process. And that's exactly what this film is. It breaks no boundaries, it takes no raunchy steps, it's a very simple comedy that you can watch with your mom just kind of have a good time. While Melissa McCarthy's character was funny at times, I say the standout comedian in this film had to be Maya Rudolph. Now she's a comedian I love and I cannot believe there's not more films where she is the main lead and not a featured character. Every time she came on screen, I was laughing my butt off. Completely seals the show and I could just have more and more of her from this film. And that's really where all the positives end for this film. On the negative side, there's nothing here that really makes me say this is a garbage film, this is trash, I have no idea why I wasted my time watching this because honestly I came out of this film feeling good with a nice little smile on my face but also knowing that when I wake up tomorrow morning 80% of this film will be gone to me. A lot of the reasons is just because the film is very simple, takes no risks, has a bunch of one-dimensional characters. It's filled with a bunch of random useless scenes put together that are basically a sketch, a sketch, a sketch. Let's filter that into a film. Just a setup for a funny situation, then five minutes of you watching that situation play out. Another setup, five minutes of you watching that situation play out. And you have the villain of the film that is just, I mean to be mean and I think I'm cool because I look cool. There's literally a lot in the film where the villain literally says come on let's go do something cool which has got to be some of the worst screenwriting I've ever heard the last quarter of the film I know where it's going I know how it's gonna end and I'm just like come on let's finish this already I know what's gonna happen and exactly what I was thinking is what happened that's really all I have to say about this film it is simple it is sweet it's a cute film it's a mom film it's a grandma film you're not gonna take away anything amazing from this film all right so for life of the party I'm gonna give action one star just because there is a fight scene and a couple of scenes that involve them trashing a place comedy in the film I'm gonna give two stars to and that's mainly because of Maya Rudolph like I said amazing in this film and I did crack up really loud when she was on screen drama in the film I'm gonna give one and a half stars a very simple story with not a lot of complex layers you might feel a little pain for Melissa McCarthy's character but you get over it pretty quick horror in the film I'm gonna give no stars to there's nothing really that's scary in this film and suspense in the film I'm gonna give one star to because like I said there's nothing gripping you in this film casual fans I'm gonna give it a B minus cinema files I'm going to give it an F and critically I'm going to give it a C minus so for life of the party I recommend you give this one a rent that's really my opinion on this film guys let me know what you thought about the film if you got around to seeing it I would definitely say this one is better than Tammy but I still like boss a little bit better but always guys thank you for checking out my channel be sure to hit that little button down there I'm seeing Deadpool this week so I will have a review by the end of this week so you're gonna want to subscribe to hear my thoughts on that film but as always guys I'm Chris take care